Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and this is Demos with Angular. Today, I want to show you a website called StackBlitz, which is doing a lot of things that makes it easier to become an Angular developer and easier to get started. StackBlitz really has two main features that we're going to look at. First is the ability to get up and running really quickly with basically out-of-the-box Angular application, where you can get started in seconds. The second is the ability for StackBlitz to load content directly from GitHub so you can get involved or see what's going on with an existing project loaded from GitHub, no matter what sort of dependencies you've got going on. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with a blank browser window here, and I'm going to pull up stackblitz.com. There's three options. We're going to pick the Angular one and jump right in. So instantly you're given a working Angular application, kind of a Hello World app. And you'll see if you look in the app folder, you're going to see all of the things that you normally see with an HTML, a TypeScript file, the component. You can go ahead and edit these live, and everything's going to update automatically directly in the preview. You can also see that we've got a dependencies tab over here on the left side of the navigation. And this is actually going to give you the power to understand the dependencies that are being used by this Angular app, uh, as well as to change those. So if we went into our app module here, and we actually went ahead and added a new dependency. So let's say we're going to pull in something like the material uh, card module from the Angular material project. So first, it's going to show a little error saying, hey, we don't know what this is. You don't have this as a dependency in your project. A nice thing is that StackBlitz is going to give you a button to install that dependency. And not only that dependency, but we also require the CDK as a, another peer dep. And it's going to recognize that and go ahead and install that for us. Uh, you can also install third-party dependencies really easily. So I just added uh, Sh Showdown, which is my favorite markdown renderer. Uh, and basically, in that one uh, line and hit enter, everything got installed and worked. So let's go ahead and make sure that this is a working real Angular application by adding the router on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and import the router module. And then I'm going to give it a configuration. We'll give it two paths, a home path referring to the home component and an about path referring to an about component. Now, neither of these components actually exist yet, but StackBlitz makes it easier to resolve that as well. So once we get the router module imported, which already is added as a dependency in the project, so we don't need to import it there, uh, but we'll just import it into this file. And then what I can do is you can either create a new file by hand, or you can right click on app and you're going to get all of the generators that exist in the CLI. So we can just uh, have the equivalent of an ng generate component, and we'll make a home component this way and a about component this way. You can see they've got the same folder structure that we have from the CLI that we kind of expect. Uh, and you can see home works just like we expect if we were building this at the command line. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the router outlet to my app component so that we can actually see one of these routes being loaded. So by default, we're going to see homeworks, which is our default route that we set up. Uh, now I'm going to add a couple links here just to prove that routing is working just fine. So we'll add a, a div here pointing with a router link to the root, and we'll create another one pointing at slash about, and we'll give both of these a try. All right, we're going to click on about now, and then we're going to click on home, and jump back and forth. Everything seems to be working. The URL is updating and the page is changing. So now I want to show you the second crazy feature about StackBlitz. So we're going to go first to GitHub, and we're going to pull up my repo, stephenfluin slash fluin.io. So this is a website that I work on. You can tell it's an Angular project because I've got an Angular CLI uh, config file there. And I'm going to change the URL. I'm going to replace github.com with stackblitz.com slash github. What's going to happen is it's going to download that project from GitHub, recognize all the dependencies from the package JSON, install them in the browser, and launch this site. And so now we have a site that uh, has more than kind of just a couple components. This is a real site that's live on the web. It's got production tool chains. It's got router config. It's got lots of code kind of behind the scenes. Uh, everything works exactly as I would expect if I was running ng-serve. And so to prove this again, I'll pull up uh, the home component here, and we'll make a text change. So just instead of Stephen Fluin, we'll say great test. And this is kind of the magic of StackBlitz, where now very quickly we've gotten someone up to speed editing or modifying or understanding our Angular application without having to do anything in terms of the toolchain, node, uh, TypeScript compilation side of things. And so this is really powerful if you are new to Angular, if you're showing someone uh, some of the cool projects you've been working on, 
Uh, or if you're teaching someone, I know a lot of educators are starting to use StackBlitz as part of their tool chain for bringing developers up in the world of Angular. So I'm really excited about what StackBlitz does today and uh, what we're hoping they can do in the future. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, give StackBlitz a try. Thanks so much.